take two. Are things working now? I hope so. All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Sorry about the technical difficulties earlier. It's super windy here, and so <laughs> the internet's not great. I'll show you where I am. Hang on. I am outside. Yay! I'm outside. There's my dog. And we are outside on the lake. And so there might be some noises. For example, I had two geese here earlier, but is it? It's two geese, right? One goose, two geese. I think that's right. Okay. So we had two of them earlier here, and they were making the loudest noises. But now they have gone. And maybe we'll have some quiet. Okay, so I went on a walk today and found some really cool things that we could use as a brush. So I want to try that out. Look at this. I don't... I don't even know what flower that's from, but whoa, right? This was just cool, dried up little twig. I was thinking that I can, oh, if you have any questions, please ask. I was thinking that I can like combine some of these, maybe? like combine some of the brushes together or these little twigs. Um, okay, so I'm going to, try that now. I have with me a super black ink that I will shake. All right, um, Speedball India ink. So I also, just in case, oh no, I'm not strong enough. Okay, I can open it. I also have my handy dandy water with me in this Funfetti <laughs> container. <laughs> because I can't find my Talenti jar. Sometimes these things just happen. All right, so I'm gonna try out these new nature brushes that I've found. Take out the super black and let's see how it goes. All right, so I wanna try these cool little pods to see if that works. So I'm just gonna dip it in the super black. Let's see, let's see how that looks. Ooh, that's making some cool lines. Oh, look at that. I like that. I'm just concerned about whether or not they would like be strong because like right now it's starting to be a little bit um, hard. Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh, wow, I like that a lot. That is so cool. Okay, so this is this brush, and not brush, nature from the walk we found today. Twig, I guess. Okay, so I'll dip this one. This one is a three prong. Let's see how that looks. Oh, whoa. You know what would be cool with these? It's like calligraphy or something. But they are a little bit delicate, so, hmm, that is an issue. All right, let me know if you have any questions. These are just some twigs that we found on a walk today. And I was walking with my kids. They're always on a lookout with me. Oh gosh, I really like that. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, looks good being dipped. I mean, pushed down, I like that. So I might have to make these stable by using some um, some tape, so we'll see. Here's the other twig that I found, so we'll see how that looks. It's so fun, it's so fun to just get outside and just play. Whoa. Oh, that that's gonna make a cool tree. Hello, Arts Color. Nice to see you. All right, and thank you all of you that's joining right now. Guys, look at the marks this one's making. When you do like, whoa. Okay, so these are useful for when I'm doing like 
mark making. Oh, and this is really, really stable, it seems. So this twig is a, we'll keep that one. That's a, that's a good one. I mean, look at that. It's making really, really cool marks. So I'm just using a speedball ink and just found some twigs on our walk, making marks with them. All right, so that's that twig that I really like. Okay, next are these pine cone brushy things. This is gonna be tricky, but I'm gonna try it. All right, let's see. Just gonna, <laughs> I might make a mess, but that's okay. That's the kind of like, that's the kind of art I like to do, messy art. Oh, look at that. All right, let's try it. Okay. Oh, that's working out really good. Can you imagine how this would look in like a giant canvas? I have to try that. I'm liking how that feels. Okay, so this is also a keeper. All right, so we have a couple that is good and then another one that I might have to just, I might have to just attach together. These twigs are so delicate. I mean, I wish they were stronger. Whoa! Oh, ooh. Okay, so did you see what I just did? I just did a, a splatter. Oh, they're good for splattering. They're like little toothbrushes. But as I'm doing that, I'm breaking them, so bummer. So these twigs are not strong enough. And I'm getting color on my table, but that's okay. All right, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. It's still a little cold here in New York. I think it was 50 or something. But um, yeah, so those are the twigs. I'm gonna turn the page. A lot of people ask if what I do with my pages when I have stuff on both sides. Um, usually I just stick a piece of paper in between. This is from this morning. Usually I just stick a paper in between, but I don't have a piece of paper today. So I might have to wait until this dries a little. But anyway, so yeah, go out there, go outside, go on a little nature walk, see if you can find some cool twigs to play with. Look at that, that's still holding water pretty well. This might be my new favorite brush. Look at that. It's making the coolest marks. Shall we try to paint a flower or something? Let's do a landscape. Maybe we'll do a landscape. I'm gonna scoot it over. Just turn my page here. Okay, super black again. And it feels good to paint outside. It's been so long in the winter that it just feels amazing to be outside today. Okay, try to do a landscape. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. So there's this giant island in front of me and there's some cool little twigs and trees. So I'll just try to get, um, do you hear that? Some kind of bird. I need to get better at bird identification. Okay, so there's an island in front of me and kind of looks like this. Making marks. There's a lot of trees. So I'll try to get that on the paper. And they don't all have their buds yet so um, just gonna get some of their energy onto the paper and at the tip of the island it's just really really sparse not a lot of greenery mostly rocks so I'll put some rocks down there of 
cool thing about nature is it doesn't have to be perfect. Also, the cool thing about walking and finding these brushes is I can like paint a tree with a tree brush. I mean, how crazy is that? That's so cool. All right, so that's the island that's in front of me. And um, there's cool little branches that's coming up. Sujo creates says, awesome, thanks. Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, the things you find on a nature walk, right? This, I also love doing this, watch. Just taking the water and just dipping it in there and then seeing the magic of how it goes. Oops, I am also getting paint everywhere. All right, I'm going to take some of these other little twigs and see if I can splatter it around. Oh, these splatter really well, so I'm gonna try to see if I can save that. All right, well, I think I'm going to let this dry, but I just want to say thank you for joining me, even for a little bit here, on this cool little art break. Um, I'll try to show you the island that's in front of me. Can you see? There's the island. So that's what I was trying to capture with this, uh, with this brush. Um, Sujo creates. I love how you're incorporating nature. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's so much fun to just like go out there and then try to see. Look at these. These are nature brushes. I mean, so much fun. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a painting with joy May 19th. It's a free online um, paint hang. We'll do some flowers. So if you want to, if you want to join me. Um, registration is in the link in the bio and I hope you get outside today it's still cold here in New York but man it's a beautiful day um, thank you I'm gonna keep painting and playing here but thank you for joining me um, for this art break have a great weekend bye everybody get outside <laughs>